if you think of Malawi, the first thing you're almost certainly going to think of is that magnificent expanse of Lake Malawi. The next thing will probably be the extraordinary friendliness of Malawian people. The next thing should be the wildlife. How's it guys? I am Gus the African Plant Hunter. I'm standing here in Lewande National Park and I am here to share with you the magnificent resurgence of Malawian wildlife over the last few years and particularly this extraordinary park which is considered by many to be the absolute jewel in the crown of Malawian protected areas. Lewande National Park is a relatively small park just over 500 square kilometers but it has all the big five in it. Black rhino, elephant, lion, leopard, plenty of buffalo. There are also cheetah here and wild dog so it is a remarkable wildlife experience. The park is situated to the south of Lake Malawi along the Shiri River which drains from Lake Malawi all the way down to the Zambezi. The park straddles the river predominantly spreading to the east of the river but also a little bit on the west. Uh, when you come into the park you come in there's only one road in coming in from the south from Lewande town unless you're lucky enough to be staying at one of the high-end lodges in the park that might bring you in across the Shiri River you leave your vehicle on the far side of the river and come across on a ferry coming in from Olonge but most self-drive tourists will come in from the south you drive a few kilometers off the tarmac road from Lewande town to the park entrance. There you will find a number of camps that are situated just outside the park boundary, although they are within the fence and surrounded by as much wildlife as anywhere else in the park. Very pretty those camps, but then in order to go into the park you have to drive out of those camps and along a couple of kilometers and then in through the park gate. Once you get into the park there's one main road that runs from south up to north. It's called the Spine Road few kilometers parallel to the Shiri River with a number of little loop drives that go down right down to the river. I'm on one of those right now and then some big loop drives that head off to the east going slightly up into this expanse of beautiful Cathedral Mapani woodland. Very unusual to see full-size Mapani trees in an area with elephant uh, but I think I would attribute that to the relatively low elephant populations over the last few decades. Right now there are a lot of elephants here and in fact so many that they've just recently translocated a significant number from this park to other parks in Malawi to repopulate those. So Lewande is now really being seen as a source not just of elephant but of many other animals for repopulating other parks in Malawi which is a wonderful wonderful thing. The park is really beautiful with this expanse of open floodplain right next to the Shiri River. It's nice when you get to the Shiri and you look over the other side knowing that that's also part of the park even though there isn't actually any road access along the western side of the Shiri River. But it does mean that the river is protected on both sides. One of the absolute highlights of any visit to Lewande National Park is a boat cruise along the Shiri River which you can do from one of the camps that are situated within the park. Quite remarkable bird viewing along the river, some spectacular groves of fever trees mixed with these tall giant barasses palms. Uh, some of the biggest fever trees I think I've ever seen and the game viewing and the bird viewing from the boat is just beautiful. The park itself also has a number of little different nooks and crannies that are well worth exploring away from the beaten track. Uh, the chances of seeing rhino here are for, probably fairly slender but the wild dogs and the cheetahs are often seen and the lions here are abundant. If you are lucky enough to stay in one of the camps within the park you are almost certain to hear lions calling all around you all night long. There's only one of the camps within the park that has a campsite. They're basically high-end lodges and that's in Vu Camp. Uh, so if you can get an opportunity to go in and camp there it's not cheap but it's well worth it and you are able then to take a game drive or a boat cruise from your campsite first thing in the morning last thing at night which is of course a huge bonus because that is naturally the prime wildlife viewing time. 
There are a lot of communities around the park, particularly to the south. The park is under the management of African Parks, uh, one of their portfolio of 20 or so national parks across Africa. Uh, it's one of three that they are currently uh, co-managing in Malawi and they've been here for the last decade or so and they really have made a significant difference. They also have a strong community outreach program uh, which makes a huge difference to relationships between the park and the local communities. Uh, the park is fully fenced off so there are limited, very limited numbers of incursions from elephants into neighboring fields which of course makes the local communities much happier and much more willing to uh, share their landscape with wild animals. This, if you've never been to Malawi before, should be right at the top of your list. And if you've never been to Malawi before, I do highly recommend you come. When you add the lake, Mount Malangi, which is one of the most spectacular pieces of Afro-Montane vegetation in Southern Africa, and perhaps the Nika Plateau up in the north, which is also very unique. Put that all together into a 10 day, two week itinerary and you are in for a magnificent holiday. And don't forget that Malawian people are some of the friendliest people on the planet. So that is my very quick overview of Luwande National Park. It's one that is growing in popularity and I highly recommend if you've never been here that you try and make a visit as soon as possible before it gets discovered by the rest of the world. Right now you can come here and still spend almost an entire day without seeing anyone else but that my friends will change because this is going to become very well known as a park in Southern Africa and I predict a huge increase in visitor numbers over the next few years. All right guys, I hope you take my advice and uh, pack your car up and head to Malawi because it's well worth it. If you've enjoyed this video, there are a number more like it on my YouTube channel, African Plant Hunter. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. This is part of a series called Into the Wild Africa where I look at various different parks across Southern Africa. So go and check it out. And if you've gained something from this and you would like to support me, you can easily do that by going to my Patreon channel, patreon.com forward slash African Plant Hunter and just pledging a little bit of money every month, which really helps me to make more videos like this to encourage more people like you to come and visit more parks like this one. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed it. The sun is getting low. That means it's sundowner time for me. I will catch you later. Take it easy.